For more on the global gambling industry, we're joined by Joseph Kelly. He is a professor of business law at SUNY College in Buffalo, New York. Thanks very much for joining us today. Delighted to be here. Tell me about the challenges facing the gaming industry. They are facing competition at every turn, and by all indications, Vegas here in the United States, Macau, are not seeing the revenue streams that they want. Well, some of the casinos are doing extremely well throughout the world and in the United States. You have to keep in mind that one major problem of Macau was the crackdown on money laundering by the government of China, because Macau is associated with one type of gambling, Baccarat, mm -hmm. and big money is being played. And when the Chinese government cracked down on some of the unusual methods for people to finance the playing, it had a negative effect. And Atlantic City, of course, um, and Mississippi, a, yeah. uh, Caesars Casino in Tunica closed. Certain casinos have closed, but we still have casinos in about 39 states, and the number is growing. Massachusetts will be adding two very high-class casinos and join the 39 states. But the one thing I think, besides diversification, that really could save New Jersey gambling is the legalization of sports betting. In the United States, sports betting is up to a $500 billion a year industry. All but $3 billion is illegal. The only people who profit presently by this system would be Mickey the Ant and Tony the Flea. <laughs> if it's you legalize it in New Jersey, as Governor Christie has tried, and he's been stopped by the sports leagues. Mm -hmm. and well, we, we recently had the NBA commissioner come out and say he is support of that, so that, that yes. could be changing. To shift gears a little, a little bit, it, I had it, a gaming it, executive tell me one time that gamblers in Vegas and to a lesser degree Atlantic City, they're different than uh, the people who, you know, they come, they, they go to shows, they shop, they get out. But in Macau, they say it's pretty much straight gambling. People get off planes, go for it. Straight baccarat. So, so what's, what's the difference? And Walk us through it. Well. Um, Genting, which um, uh, had hoped to establish a huge multi-billion dollar casino in uh, Orange County, New York, but was not chosen as one of the three, wanted to see if they could bring the wealthy Chinese gambler, the person who plays a $500 a hand game, as opposed to the $5 player, to Orange County, and it would really bring in tremendous revenue, and I think he was correct. But you have to keep in mind that gambling is proliferating mm -hmm. not, uh, throughout Asia. Macau was always a sin spot. But of course, you have Singapore, Malaysia, and the Philippines now. And there's a very good chance that Japan might be legalizing casinos, an extremely good chance. And um, the Japanese prime minister has said that he's very much in favor of it. So there might be very few spots in Asia where you don't have gambling. You know, you, and you, the idea is. You touched upon something that I want, to, I want to bring out. I hate to cut you off there, but you talked about the anti-corruption campaign going on in China. How has that affected the industry? Bring our international audience up to date about the prosecution. Well, okay, the, it, it's the anti-corruption campaign that's going on in Macau, where China is saying, we want to stop the money laundering that seems to take place in Macau. China has almost no legal gambling. Uh, right. So therefore, the Chinese have to go to Vietnam or Macau or, and the Chinese hate this, they go to casinos in North Korea. But um, uh, they want to make, eliminate or minimize the money laundering that takes place in Macau. And we heard in Jim Spellman's story about Atlantic City losing out money to many U.S. states because casinos are popping up everywhere. That is a trend that doesn't seem to Correct. be changing. How is that going to, to play out? And you talked about AC maybe coming back, but realistically, do you see it happening? Yes. Um, there are some people, if you make the casinos more attractive, Atlantic City on the boardwalk has always been a place that attracts tourism. Having said that, you now have casinos in Maryland, Pennsylvania, Delaware, West Virginia, uh, and almost every northeastern state and mid-Atlantic state, with the exception of Vermont and New Hampshire, and New Hampshire is considering it. So I think Atlantic City, by returning its, to its roots, trying to really make itself into a seaside resort, um, can make itself profitable once again. Mr. Kelly, because it sounds it a lot like 1920 things. all over again, so we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope <laughs> AC can come back. Thanks very much for joining us. I we hope so as a teenager. Yeah, exactly.